plant friends. So a couple weeks ago I made a video on shingling or climbing houseplants and I shared the species that I have as well as how I have them on these moss planks hanging uh, along the side of my fridge. If you haven't seen that video, I'll leave it the link in the description below and just know that shingling houseplants, super, super fun. Some of my favorite, favorite plants. In this video, I'll be sharing how I make my moss poles and moss planks. There are a lot of videos out there. I'm just gonna be sharing how I do it. So stay tuned. <music> So I think making your own moss plank or moss pole is really, really fun. It's cheap. It's something that you can do with your kids or as a family. These are the supplies that you're going to need. process for mounting the moss on the board is very, very easy, especially when you're using a staple gun. I'm just layering the moss, the wet moss on the board, and you can layer it on as thick or as thin as you want. If you're planning to stick the bottom in soil or use it as a moss pole or board, then you can leave some space at the bottom. And then when you're done putting the moss on, take out your staple gun and start stapling. Midway through, I realized that my staple gun did not have staples. Hey. I'm not a professional staple person. Putting staples in the gun. <laughs> and then I just, again, I just resume the stapling. So I run staples along the length of it and then I staple the sides or along the edges for additional support. After I'm done stapling, the moss sort of stays for the most part. If you hold it up and the moss falls down, you can always reattach and then restaple any areas. I flipped this guy over and I added a staple in the back with a piece of the fishing wire so I could make the hanging wire. Adding some additional support to keep the moss in place is probably a good idea. So I do that by wrapping fish wire around the board. The way I do it is I just tie it at the top and then I coil around till I get the, to the bottom and then I continue the coil back up and then tie it. That's the entirety of the process for making your moss pole or board or plank. And I think, I think it looks great. So what I do with this guy is I will shower him once or twice a week. If you live in a dry or a really hot place, shower him more often. You can just feel the moss and as long as it's damp, you're good. I will mist him liberally every day or every other day. And yeah, just try to keep the moss on the damp side. I also use this sort of method to make supporting moss poles for some of my other plants. These are not the round poles, so I don't use 
these for the plants that sort of need to uh, encircle the pole. For, for that, I sort of just buy them off Amazon because I'm too lazy to make them. I have my Thai Constellation and Mint Monstera and my regular Monstera against these poles as well. I made these a long time ago and when I made it, I was extremely, extremely overzealous. They're probably way, not probably, definitely way, way, way bigger than they need to be. So thanks for watching. I really hope this was useful. Again, there are a lot of videos out there on how to make moss poles and moss planks and all things moss related, it seems. So this is how I do it. Like I said, my secret and what I think I really recommend is the staple gun. I think it helps the process a lot. If that's not something you're into or you like to make these rounder uh, moss poles, you know, there, there are plenty of other videos around the internet uh, to do that. So thanks again for watching. Till next time, happy planting.